those folks elected and re-elected this November and many Novembers in the future. Um, at this point, uh, I'm going to do coin toss. Actually, I'm going to hold off on that just a second. I heard from one of our candidates who came from beyond Asheville, who actually needs to get back home past Asheville. If it's all right with, if, if he would go first, is that all right with everyone? Yeah, yeah. Sure. All right. If Tom Hill would come up, he is uh, running for U.S. Congressional District uh, North Carolina 11 uh, against Mark Meadows. Come on up. Thank you. I'll stand out front here if that's okay. The fact that those guys took less time, I can use that time, right? <laughs> My name is Tom Hill. I've tried to give all of you a card. I'm from East, I grew up in East Flat Rock. My dad had an outlaw orchard there, and I... Uh, and we were very poor when I was growing up, and we are a, a true Republican success story, but I'm not a Republican, I'm a Democrat. I, I supported uh, Eugene McCarthy when he ran back in 1968. I don't know how many of you remember him, but he was a great guy. I, su I supported uh, George McGovern in 72. He was the best uh, presidential candidate that we never elected. And we knew that, uh, we Democrats knew that Richard Nixon was a crook, and, but the rest of the world had to find it out. And so, so anyway, I grew up in East Flat Rock. I went to school at Wake Forest for four years, have a bachelor's degree in math, and I went to uh, Chapel Hill for five years. I had a doctorate degree in physics, and I worked in the aerospace industry for uh, my entire career. I worked as a civilian employee for the Air Force for so for about 20 years, and then I worked for private industry till I finished my career. Now, the reason I'm running, everybody says, I want to make a change. I want to make a change. You know, I really, honest to God, want to make a change. Okay? <laughs> I want to change that Tea Party blocking in the U.S. House of Representatives. There, we need to take about 18 seats to get the Democrats back in control of Congress. Now, we can do that. We can start with one district at a time. And people say, well, Mark Meadows is undefeatable in this, in this district. Well, he's not. He showed himself when he shut down the government, and he, and he did it again when he voted the second time. On it. The only thing kept the government from shutting down the second time was that he was that uh, about 18 of his colleagues, 20, I'm sorry, 20 plus of his colleagues voted to, uh, uh, voted with the Democrats. It's the biggest one-sided vote ever where the where the uh, minority party carried the day all right it's the fewest of the majority party boy voted in that shutdown and and the shutdown is absurd it's absolutely absurd they've already approved the budget because it's like your credit card bill you spent the money then your bill comes due and you don't want to pay it now that's what that's what the shutdown is about and so he uh mark is a very personable guy he is uh, <coughs> smiling. He is the face of the Tea Party. Jane Bellillo, from who's chair of the Asheville Tea Party, called him the poster boy of the Tea Party, and indeed he is. And the, and these people are not unpersonable. Mark is a very personable fellow. He smiles. He attends all of the uh, uh, events where where somebody has had an accident, maybe like the Forest Service guy that got killed, or somebody uh, someone else has. Tragic. He's there front and center. As far as taking care of people's individual problems, he, he's done an outstanding job. But when it comes to legislation, he's at the bottom of the list. He is the one who circulated the letter to shut down the government. Now, if we don't do anything else in our lives, we need to replace him in Congress. I want to do that, but if, if you decide that my opponent, who's not here tonight, is the right one to do that, then I will support him. We must put a Democrat in the U.S. Congress. It's an absolute requirement. We will do this one district at a time. Now, as far as, how much time do I have left, Dan? Uh, about three and a half minutes. Okay, good for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, only, I'm only halfway. I'm just getting around to it. Uh, the, the things I stand for, I want the corporations to pay their taxes. One in four U.S. corporations pay. And no, if you want that done, it's never, ever, ever going to be done as long as we have a Republican-controlled House of Representatives. It will not happen. 
There'll be one excuse after the other. Well, we're going to close some loopholes, but we just couldn't work it out. Okay? Now, the, the fact of the matter is they are bought and paid for. And I hate to admit it, but we have Democrats who are bought and paid for it too. And it's going to take a real, we're not going to take no for an answer attitude to get this done. And we can get it done. So I want to, I want corporations to pay their taxes instead of moving offshore. Heck, Caterpillar came in a couple of weeks back and they, they moved offshore to avoid $2 billion, $2.3 billion in federal taxes. And the Republicans cheered them. These are the same turkeys that want to know where the government is when, when a disaster hits. Why, what happened to FEMA? Why, why the, uh, we had a tornado. Well, we, and Mark was front and center when, when the guys in uh, Mills River got drowned, their crops got drowned out. Well, I'm front and center too. The difference is I'm willing to pay for it, okay? And, they, and Republicans are not. So I, I want the corporations to pay. I want to stop these wars. We, we're spending, we have spent in the past over $150 billion a year fighting those wars. When somebody has figured out how we're in Afghanistan, I want you to tell me, okay? We have to stop them. We need that $150 billion. The GAO has estimated $145 billion to rebuild our infrastructure. We need a special bill to do that. And that, so I'm, I want to stop the wars, rebuild infrastructure, I want corporates pay taxes. I want immigration reform. I will work for it as hard as I can. I came back and took care of my mother's apple orchard in 1987, and the Hispanic people are doing work. If we can have them work for three years, pay U.S. income taxes, Social Security, and stay out of trouble, and most of them are law-abiding people. They're, most of them are Christians. They're not Muslims who are, who are looking to uh, foment a jihad. Okay, so we, so if they for three years they pay their taxes, they do their thing, and they're willing to swear allegiance to the United States. I want to make them a pathway to citizenship. We can do that. John Boehner said that he could pass a bill like that this year. He met with Mark and his friends, and then he came back and said, "I can't pass a bill." So we know, we know where that is. Mark appears at these town halls. He appears to these town halls. He says, "We have a plan. We have a plan for Medicare. We have a plan for." for uh, immigration reform. Where the hell is it? Okay? All I want to do is block everything we try to do. Thank you very much. I appreciate your patience and I'm going to run. I'm, I'm going back to, I have a couple hours drive to get back east west. It's zirconia now. Okay? <laughs> <laughs>